The lightning card for the April Player of the Month program is Anthony Rizzo. Here's the attributes. Solid power as a left-handed first baseman, 81-86 contact. I can't lie, I'm pretty underwhelmed with this Player of the Month set. I don't think Rizzo is a bad card, but when you compare this to like Buxton from last year or other April Player of the Month cards, plus the insane grind that you have to do to get him this year, it's just... I'm not a fan. I can't lie. I'm not a fan. Quick rundown of some of the other player of the month cards. Taylor Ward from the Angels. Owen Miller from the Indians. Guardians, idiot. The Mariners actually got two. They got JP Crawford, as well as Ty France. We got a new Jock Peterson card. Of course, we already knew about the Andre Dawson card. A couple new starting pitchers, a 90 overall Kyle Wright, as well as an 88 Pablo Lopez, and a couple relievers, Jordan Romano from the Blue Jays, and Victor Arano from the Washington Nationals. Oh, we're at this park, dude. Rizzo has to hit one off those monster trucks out there. Taylor Ward, lead off at bat. He's, he's looking just like real life right now. Perfect, perfect off Logan Webb. As an Angels fan, that made me so happy. All right, now we got Rizzo batting in the two hole. Looks like there is the pull shift on Anthony Rizzo. Oh, two. Nope. Rizzo, get out of here. Lead off, or not lead off. First at bat for Rizzo. He almost hit the truck. I almost called it. I mean, I have to watch it, right? I have to watch Rizzo's first at bat if it's a bomb. I just have to. Finally, I get to use this Andre Dawson card in ranked, dude. Ah, so yeah, I mean, this player of the month set, obviously there was a lot of hype around it because a lot of different guys had good months. I was personally expecting this month to be Jose Ramirez. And I know there's gonna be people saying, oh, he's got a, he's got a 91 already. He's got his, you know, diamond on his live series, whatever. I don't really think that matters as much anymore because I think for the past two years, I could be wrong. I can't remember every player of the month card off the top of my head. The guy who actually got the player of the month card either one player of the month in real life or one pitcher of the month in real life. So I thought the four options we were going to get would be between Jose Ramirez, Nolan Arenado, Pablo Lopez, and Logan Gilbert. But I was wrong. We ended up getting Anthony Rizzo. And, I, you know, when I say that this player of the month set is disappointing, I don't mean the fact that I don't like Rizzo. Obviously, I just hit a home run with Rizzo. I, I knew Rizzo was going to be a solid left-handed bat. But, I mean, when you compare it to last year where we got... Uh, 95 Byron Buxton as the April Player of the Month reward. He was so good. There was so much hype behind him. Everybody liked the card. It just kind of felt like this one was a little bit underwhelming, especially because they scaled back the overall to 92 when Buxton was a 95. And I do like the fact that they are being a little bit more... I guess cautious with how they're giving out the overalls. They don't want us to have like super insanely juiced cards this early. We kind of want to build up to that. I'm actually a fan of that. I'm fine with that. But I think you could make the case that there's first baseman in the game, at least guys with secondary positions that are actually better than Rizzo. And I'm not even talking about Frank. But all of that aside, I think one of the other reasons why this player of the month set is not really like a lot of people are kind of having issues with it is because of the grind. The grind for this player of the month program is awful. So you start off obviously doing the tops now moments. They have the week four for uh, stage one. You get all the tops now moments done. You collect all the tops now players. You can go on to stage two. Now I heard there's some issue with people not getting the right amount of program points when they do the tops now collection and they go into stage two. I personally cannot verify that because I wasn't really paying attention. I kind of just got through it, got on a stage two and started the rest of the grind. So if you are having that issue, let me know in the comments because I have seen some people say it on Twitter. Jock, Jock, that's off the wall at least. All right, we got to get two. That's it, Jock. We'll take two. So anyway, after you complete stage one, you move on to stage two. There's another set of moments. And then after you complete those moments, you got to do a lot of parallel XP grinding. And when I say it's a lot of parallel XP grinding, I mean a lot. Because if you actually look inside the April Player of the Month program, you unlock Rizzo at the end of stage two. Stage three is all just extra Player of the Month packs that you can sell or use for that player of the month collection or whatever the rest of it is all parallel xp grinding and if you guys have been doing programs this year that can take forever especially with hitters i think the parallel xp missions are a good idea because the idea is that you know even if you don't end up getting a hit or an extra base hit or whatever the mission in previous years would entail at least with a parallel xp mission 
you at least make progress with the at-bat. You get parallel points just for having the at-bat. So I understand it from that perspective. But I think these parallel XP missions have to be toned down, dude. I, I just think the amount of stuff they have you do with the amount of program points they have you get, it just takes way too long. We could get player of the month programs done in like an hour and a half, like two hours last year. This one took me four. And you know, it's a four hour grind for a free 92 plus the other player of the month cards. That's cool. I just feel like it's a little bit too overboard. So anyway, in the comments, let me know if you agree or disagree with me on this topic. Do you think these cards are good? Do you think the grind is okay? Do you think the grind is too long? Let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I may not read the comments tonight because I am going to go see Doctor Strange tonight, but I'll check them out tomorrow. I just feel like a lot of people are very divisive on this player of the month set. So let me know. Got to go with the slurve in, right? Oh, wow. That hung. Suzuki, I need you to get up here, bro. Oh. I didn't even have to do anything. He just made the play. All right, Ward, just like the first AB. Let's do it again, kid. Oh, no, dude. I'm in so much pain. I think he's going to try to go inside first pitch against Rizzo, and I'm going to look for it. I was so wrong. No, man. I tried to go oppo, but I was too early. How have I been grinding on rookie all day, and now I'm early on Hall of Fame? That makes no sense. Ooh, Dawson. That ball is smoked. Great swing. That's easy, too. Yeah, just two. That's probably going to find a glove. Ah, you hate to see it, Ty France. Dude, if you're a Mariners fan, you probably love this player of the month set. Dawson, you got to cover a lot of ground, dude, and he's going to do it. Also, I, I do hope that my critique uh, of this player of the month program doesn't come off as me, like, irrationally complaining. I'm just trying to offer some criticism and it's totally okay if you guys agree or disagree with it but, but dude honestly i'm still having a lot of fun with this game I, I know a lot of people on twitter are at the point where they're like oh this game is worse than mlb 18 dude what a play by owen miller with 99 speed going down the line hell of a play buddy a lot of people are really not liking mlb 22 so far and i definitely think it's on the weaker side compared to previous years but I'm still enjoying the game, but I'm also not taking the game as seriously this year as I have in years past. In years past, I try to be like ultra competitive and, you know, I, I take the game very seriously. I'm not doing that this year, man. I'm having fun with content. I'm having fun with new cards. I'm enjoying myself. And let me tell you, my mental health has never been better. Dawson, come on, baby. Come on, Dawson. Oh, this guy can't catch a break. Don't hit it to the wall. <laughs> That's two of those already. We're only in the fourth. I'm gonna try to just put a slurve in the zone. Catch the outside part. Another good inning, man. Four shutout from Kyle Wright. We need to get some run support though, man. We haven't scored since Rizzo. Come on, Taylor Ward. We got two down. Get on base for Rizzo. Taylor Ward again. No, that doesn't have nearly enough juice. Oh, wait. Wait, what? That left? Taylor Ward, you absolute freak. Hey, last time Taylor Ward went yard, Rizzo followed with his own. Come on, baby. Rizzo, get down. Get down. Hey, two-hit day for Rizzo. Oh, no, bro. No, no, no. Oh, he finally got it. That's definitely going to go. That actually takes a lot of pressure off Kyle Wright because now... Oh, Owen. I thought he was going to get up for that. Now I'm not going to be thinking about the complete game shutout or anything like that. Could really use a double play right here. Come on. Ah, he might take out Logan Webb right here, actually. He's going to leave him in? I don't know why you leave him in right here, dude. Yeah, I, I don't get that decision. In the fifth inning, down by two still, I think you need to try to... Get some runs there. I think I'm just looking for Kyle Wright to get through one more inning, though. I think his spot's due up in the uh, the top of the seventh. So I'm just looking for him to get through this and then, uh, you know, go to either Romano or... I don't know. Maybe we even go to Pablo Lopez. Oh, he swung at that. Hello? Easy two outs. Let's go, baby. Ah, I'm not liking this pitch. I think this is a bomb. Could have been worse, but now he's got the tying run at the plate with two outs. Okay, never mind. He's swinging first pitch. Hey, that's six innings of one run ball from Kyle Wright. That'll play. Gotta stop doing that, man. I keep chopping these pitches. Okay, that ball smoked. That's probably like the best swing I've had with Suzuki 
since this card came out. All right, yeah, perfect time to go to the bench right here. Come on, Brandon Marsh. Don't make me regret taking out Kyle Wright. Not cool, man. Taylor Ward, one more time, dude. I deserve to be like locked up after that swing. I think this Victor Arano card actually looks pretty good. Let's get him in the game. <laughs> Dog, I'm actually gonna choke this game, aren't I? Yes, I am. I say this guy is good and he throws two pitches and allows two nukes. Oh no. Oh no, that's deep out there. Hey, Miller, nice play. Slider high and away, will he bite? He bit Seth Beer in for Logan Webb. Okay. All right, going to the eighth tie ball game. Anthony Rizzo leading off. Probably going to be seeing a lefty too. Although we do have some guys on deck that'll hit lefties pretty well. But Devin Williams, never mind. Full count against Devin Williams. I don't like this. Rizzo, come on. Come on. Let's go, Rizzo! Two bombs, third hit of the day. Take back everything I said. This program's a W, SDS. You did a marvelous job. Thank you for everything you've done. Up the middle, come on, get through there. Yes! Come on, Crawford, get your teammate around, dude. I mean, hey, we'll work with it. No! Owen Miller, dude. At least we got one, but ah, man, I don't know if one's gonna be enough. Here we go. That was sick. Hey, let's get this done, man. Add some insurance and then three more outs. Suzuki! Oh, stay fair for me, baby. Suzuki with a huge insurance run in the ninth. That insurance run might be huge because Jordan Romano is coming into this game. He's heat and slider. That's it. Rizzo, let's get it. I'm diving. I don't care. Oh, he trapped it. A long out number two. Please don't let me down here, Romano. Let's, I don't think he's going to swing upstairs, but I'm going to do it. Let's go. Challenge him with the heat. A hundred to end the game. What a performance from Anthony Rizzo. Two solo shots. Taylor Ward had two bombs at the leadoff spot. Suzuki with a huge ninth inning insurance run. And the pitching overall minus Victor Arana was pretty good. I definitely hung that slider to Soto, so that's definitely on me. I don't really know what could have gone better for this April monthly awards team build. <laughs>